Today we are interviewing the fantastic Godiva, a fairly recent addition to the Second Life video creators roster, and a rising star in the community. Hi Godiva! Hi Catherine, hi Lily, I'm so happy to be here. Hi Godiva, it's such a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you, thank you, so happy to be here. So, my first question, how long have you been in Second Life? I have been in Second Life for around eight years. I came back and forth through the years. Um, but during the lockdowns on 2020, I really started to connect way more. And we also want to know if you've done any other videos before starting on Second Life Machinima. The first time I edited a video was like 10 years ago in real life. I did two videos for my family that came very well. I used the Windows video editor like a good beginner. After that, I didn't touch video edition for a ton of time till I got to use Jazzo Pro around 2022. With that program, I started to record fun moments and dances in Second Life. Uh, it allowed me to record one minute scenes with just one angle, which helped me to improve on the camera motion and trying to imprint moments in one shot. At that time, I wasn't realizing how this would help on the future when I started editing proper videos. <laughs> of course, and between us girls. What inspired you to create videos in Second Life? I got inspired when a friend shared a video of Servine. I was impressed by the visual quality of her videos and the technical aspects of them. I never got to see SL videos before that, and it really made me want to try to make my own visions real. I always imagined videos when I listened to songs or reimagined them in my head. Another thing that happened on that moment was that Black Dragon got updated and the frame rate was way better than in the past. So I felt really excited about using the capabilities of this viewer for videos. Godiva, I have to admit you have several amazing videos posted on your channel. I don't know about Lily, but I'm torn picking a favorite. I love Tragedy and its sequel and so eager to see more. Then Top Gun blew me away because I've loved how many women were in it. You have this knack for making videos that feels so empowering for me as a woman. Thanks and yes, I always thought that we women can be in the action too. I grew up playing Tomb Raider games and watching movies with a female lead role like Alien. So I love the feeling of being in movement and being protagonist in the action. That's why I tried to go beyond the dancing video genre with my videos and added cars, planes, horses, or even a bicycle on my latest video. Speaking of that last one, it was made for the Women's Month contest, organized by the Second Life Video Creators Group and was inspired by something that happened to my family during a financial crisis that my country suffered in the year 2001. But as I mentioned on that video, it was inspired by many, not just myself. It basically tells a story about female strength and courage during adversity and how perseverance and self-improvement can lead to a better future, not just for yourself, but to the next generation. I'm really glad how I was able to reach so many people's hearts with this video. And I hope you can watch it soon if you didn't watch it yet. Yeah, it was it was very touchy. It has a very strong, I mean, I mean, message in it, to be honest. So, Godiva, so Godiva, out of the videos you have posted, do you have a favorite? My favorite would be Bad Girls because it reminds me of how it all started. The illusion on making my first music video was huge. So I came up with the idea of reimagining the music video of that song and make it in Second Life. I first started with the location, which I looked for so badly around the grid. But I ended building up the whole set myself because no other place adapted to my intentions of making tricks with a car on a long road in the Middle East. As you can see, I added very basic desert decoration, some industrial decoration to it as well, a double way road and my personal favorite, the static NPCs. I just had budget for three models, so I made the most out of them and painted each slightly differently apart from making them have different sizes for a more natural feel. As for the cars again, I had limited budget so I looked for the cheapest ones I could find but modify so I could repaint them and take care of the materials to make them shine for the cameras. The end result surprised me a lot and encouraged me to do more. Okay, so the next series of questions are related to the tools you use for your videos, since we know there are so many admirers of your work. 
What programs do you use for video, machinima capture and editing? Well, for, for capture, I use the built-in NVIDIA recording software. It's, it's pretty easy to use and it comes incorporated with the NVIDIA drivers of the video card. It records on a really high quality and at 60 FPS. The only cons I can think of is the file size, which tends to be bigger. But for the length of my current projects, it works very well. As for editing, I use the Wondershare Filmora. It's a quite easy to use program that goes well with my current skills. I plan on getting and learning how to use some more advanced software like Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas. As we all know, Second Life is always so laggy. So my question is, for Second Life, what viewer are you using when you're capturing? Machinima. For Second Life, I like using both Firestorm and Black Dragon at the same time. I like the fidelity of the movement and the overall ease of use on Firestorm. Black Dragon is the best when it comes to visuals. So what I do is basically use two screens on my desktop computer. On one screen, I'm recording on Black Dragon. On the other, I have Firestorm running my avatar. It's really useful on most cases. And I encourage others to try this method if they have the chance. Are there any special tricks you use to reduce lag when working with extra performers or on sims? I pay special attention to the places I'm going to go record. If it's a complex scene, I will choose the angles according to a more limited draw distance, or I'll just de-render things that won't be visible on it. The viewers like to render things behind a wall, for example, but nowadays it got much better than on the past, gladly. Another thing that I like is releasing my videos at 25 FPS, not only for a more film feeling to them, but because that helps to the consistency of the frame rate during the video. Making everything at 60 FPS can be tempting, but can lead to inconsistency and drawing the attention away from the video. However, I do plan on doing some at 60 FPS just to try new things I have in mind. I've always been so curious to know, are there any videos or tutorials you would recommend for a new machinima artist? Well, about that, I would really recommend the new video released by the Second Life team about how to handle EEP and lightning in general, as this can help you out to have wonderful raw material for when you edit videos. I'm sure everyone wants to know what is the best advice you can give to someone who is excited and wants to start doing machinima. My best advice is to always try something new in each video, even something little helps to the development and improvement. I am myself still learning many things. Also remember to make out the best out of your possibilities. My technical knowledge is very limited and I am very new to making both videos and machinima, but I try hard to make the best out of what I can do. But more important than anything is to have fun doing it. So good, Iva. Tell me. Are there any people or groups that you would recommend that can be helpful for someone new to Machinima? Of course, the awesome SL Video Creators Group. They have a wonderful Discord channel where many creators, including myself, gather and help each other. This is a dreamed community by the amount of talent in it and the way everyone helps when you need something. If you're new in Machinima, check them out. Godiva, thank you for taking the time for your busy schedule for this interview. Thank you. Thank you. So happy to be here. So thank you, Godiva, again for being part of our show. It was a pleasure to have you here with us. It was a pleasure. Lily, Catherine, I loved this time with you. We are honored to present this to the Machinima community and share you as an exciting and upcoming artist. Much love to you all and we look forward to more interviews to follow.